Hi, welcome along to Barbecue Life UK, where great barbecue doesn't have to cost a fortune. Today we are making the perfect buffalo wings on the Audi Kamado. So today I'm cooking up a wing feast and we're going to be doing a recipe video on buffalo wings. So I've been playing with the buffalo wing recipe for a little while and I've finally got it nailed down to exactly how I want to do it to do a video on it. So I'm starting off with some supermarket wings now. These come in a tray. I think I've got about 12 in a tray for three and a half quid. And I've already chopped them in to the winglet and the flat off camera because that's the way I don't want to be cooking them as the whole wing. I want them split down. So these wings, we need to get them into a marinade. So the best marinade is uh, buttermilk. So we get them into a buttermilk and then I add some hot sauce into that buttermilk beforehand just so we start to get a bit of heat into the chicken. Now the buttermilk helps break the chicken wing down, keeps it tender, and it's gonna give us something for our next stage to stick to, which is what we need. So the hot sauce I used, I used Frank's hot sauce to keep these traditional buffalo wings. If you've got any other hot sauce, it's gonna work exactly the same. So I just put a good few dashes into the buttermilk. This is about 200 ml of buttermilk on this. And then we've got the wings into a Ziploc bag, pour the buttermilk in the top, give them a good toss through, seal the bag up, take all of the air out. And then I put these in the fridge for about five hours. Anything up to about six hours will be fine. Halfway through, you wanna turn them over so that any liquid that pulls in the bottom of that bag we're then changing it over so it's going to pull on the opposite side of the wing so we get an equal amount of tenderness and the flavour getting in there. So we're five and a half hours in and it's time to light our Kamado. So go in with a couple of wax woodies, get the Kamado lit and then once that's burnt out we're going to be getting in our deflector plates for an indirect cook. So I've used a really large deflector plate in here. Now you might not have one of these, but that's because I'm looking, cooking a bucket load of wings today. I've got three different types of wings going on the grill. The kids have all asked for different ones. So that's why I'm using a big deflector plate in the bottom, but you would get away with just your normal uh, round deflector plate in the middle for doing this amount of wings. So, We've got the Kamado coming up to temperature and we need to finish prepping our wings. So I've got a bowl full of flour and into here I season it with a bit more um, chickeny spices and something with some heat. So I've used the Rusty Barbecue Company's uh, chook chalk in there and some Louisiana hot stuff. But if you don't have them and you're into making your own rubs, then you can just go in with some salt and pepper some chickeny uh, herbs, so things like thyme and, and um, rosemary. And if you heat, you can use things like cayenne pepper, chili flakes, anything you like. You just want to get, it's not just a normal boring flour. We want to add a bit more oomph into there. So once we've got our flour mix made, we need to get this onto our chicken wings. So these chicken wings have been sitting in this buttermilk and that becomes our binder. But we don't want too much buttermilk because then we're going to have too much flour on these wings and they're going to get really claggy. And you're just going to end up with loads of residue in the bottom of the bowl and end up really sticky. So I use a wet hand and a dry hand. And my wet hand I normally have gloved. I go into that bag, I take, pick up a wing, I shake off any excess of the buttermilk and then I pop that into the bowl of flour. With my dry hand, I pick flour up and I sprinkle it over the wing. Wet hand, flip it over, make sure that it is all covered all the way around. And then I put these onto a chopping board ready to move onto the grill when they're done. So do this to the whole lot so they're all completely floured. And this is gonna give us a nice crispiness to the wing and it's gonna have something extra for that buffalo sauce to stick into and soak into so we get a real nice amount of sauce on there at the end. So we've got our Kamado up to temperature and it's time to start getting our chicken wings on. So before we get them on, we need to go on with some oil. So we're gonna oil the top side of these wings. So I've got a spray bottle that I use. Um, I've got vegetable oil in there. 
and I just spray the top half of these wings and then when we put them on the grill we're going to flip them over so that the oil side is on the bottom. So for your temperature you need to be around 200 to 220. So once you've got that stabilised we go on with the wings so as I say we flip that oil side onto the bottom and then when we've got all of the wings on we oil the top side and this is going to soak into that flour and it's going to give us a nice crispy um, outside ready for soaking up all that buffalo sauce later. So cook time, I generally go time on wings. They don't take that long to come up to temperature but I take them well past 74, sometimes even up to sort of 90. And then this really helps break down the wing and it gives you a nice bite. So when you bite into that wing it breaks clean off the bone very easily which is how I like the wings to be so I go for around 40 minutes but if you want your wings um, to have a, a more of a bite where it's going to stay on the wing then you need to be cooking them a bit less and checking them with a temperature probe so buffalo wings wouldn't be complete without a blue cheese dip so into a bowl you want to crumble down 125 grams of blue cheese. I use Saint Agur as that's my favourite blue cheese but you can use any brand blue cheese you like. Just crumble it down into a bowl and into this you want to add half a cup of uh, natural yoghurt. So if you don't if you're not used to using cups then that's about three and a half heaped tablespoons worth of natural yoghurt. Dump that into the bowl on top of the cheese then you want to go on with a tablespoon of milk and a tablespoon of lemon juice. Mix that together, knock the lumps out of the cheese if you need to push it onto the side of the bowl to get the cheese to, to cream down into the rest of that yogurt. And then you want to want to season it to your taste. So a couple of twists of salt, a couple of twists of pepper. I like mine a little bit peppery, so I tend to put a little bit more pepper in there than I do salt. And again, incorporate that through, give it a little taste, make sure that it's where you want it to be and adjust your seasonings as you go. And then this is going to give you a really nice cooling dip for dipping them chicken wings into so you don't blow your head off with the heat. So while we've got them wings in, I've got a little saucepan and in there I've got a knob of butter. So I hold that over the top vent and that's what melts the butter to make the sauce don't need to put it into the grill I'm not doing anything else I've got beer in one hand and I've got the saucepan in the other and that heat that's just coming out the top is going to heat the bottom of the pan and it's going to melt that butter down so I do this when I've got around five minutes left of the cook and it takes five minutes to melt it down because it's not a massively quick process doing it like this you could take it indoors stick it on the hob and have it done in a few seconds or you could take your chicken wings off at the end and let them rest while you melt it down. But I like to do it this way. And then I've shut my vents down at the end and I'm not wasting any charcoal. So five minutes left to go. As I say, we're melting that butter. And then we go in with our hot sauce. So as I say, again, I'm using Frank's. But if you want to use another brand, that's completely up to you. And I put loads in so there's probably about half a bottle gone into here and then that sits warmed in that pan put it back onto the top if you want to warm it up a bit more and after 40 minutes we take our wings off so i get them wings straight off and into a bowl and as you can see they've got a nice crispy skin to the outside but that is going to take on that sauce as i say so we put them into a bowl we take our saucepan of the butter and the Frank's hot sauce and we pour that over the top, coating as much of the wings as possible and then we can then give them a toss in the bowl just to get them all completely covered. And that is it. It's as simple as that. By putting that flour on there, it makes such a difference to really get that Frank's hot sauce to stick. So we've got no taste test today because I did this last night and shot the footage while doing it and you don't need to see me eating a chicken wing and me telling you how hot it is. I'm sure many many of you have eaten buffalo wings before. You probably wouldn't even be watching this video if you didn't know what a buffalo wing was and what it tasted like so you don't need me sitting here 
telling you what it tastes like. But if you like what we're doing here at Barbecue Life UK, then please do subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like the video and leave me a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching.